We're asked to determine the limit using L'Hopital's rule. Before we do this though, let's begin by checking the form of the limit. Actually, before we do this, for a quick review, I've graphed y equals natural log x here at the bottom. Remember this function does continue increasing over its entire domain. It, is not, it does not level off and have a horizontal asymptote. So, and therefore, as x approaches infinity, the square of natural log x approaches infinity, and so does 5x squared. The limit has the indeterminate form of infinity divided by infinity, and therefore we can, and therefore we can, and therefore we can apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine the limit. L'Hopital's rule states, if we have one of the indeterminate forms shown here in fraction form, then the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. So let's work on determining the derivatives of the numerator and denominator. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of, to differentiate the square of natural log x, we need to apply the power rule with the chain rule where the inner function is natural log x. The derivative of the square of natural log x, the derivative of the square of natural, the derivative of the square of natural log x is equal to two times natural log x to the power of one times the derivative of natural log x, which is one divided by x. And then we divide by the derivative of five x squared, which is 10 x. Now let's make sure we simplify correctly here. I'm gonna show this in steps. We can write the numerator as two natural log x divided by two, and then dividing by 10x is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of one over 10x. And now it shows some extra work for simplifying this. Let's write the numerator as two natural log x divided by x, and then dividing by 10x is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of one over 10x. Notice we can simplify the two and the 10. There's one, two, and two, and five twos and 10, which gives us the limit, which gives us the limit as x approaches infinity of natural log x, natural log x, divided by five x squared. And now check the form again. Notice as x approaches infinity, natural log x, natural log x approaches infinity, and so does five x squared. We still have the indeterminate form of infinity divided by infinity, which indicates we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. This limit, which gives us the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of natural log x is one divided by x, and the derivative of five x squared is 10 x. So again, let's show the simplifying, one divided by x. And again, let's go ahead and show the simplifying on the side. One divided by x divided by 10 x is equal to, let's show the simplifying on the side again. We have one divided by x, and then dividing by 10 x again is equivalent to multiplying by one over 10 x, which we can see gives us one divided by 10 x squared. So now we have the limit as x approaches infinity of one divided by 10 x. So now we have the limit as x approaches infinity of one divided by 10 x squared. And now we can find that, and now we can evaluate the limit. The numerator, is, the numerator stays, the numerator stays at one. The denominator increases without back. And now we can determine the limit. Notice the numerator stays at one and the denominator increases without bound, and therefore the functions decrease and approach, and therefore the function values approach zero. And therefore the function values approach zero, which means the original limit is also equal to zero. And let's verify this graphically. So here we have the graph of the original function. Oh, fuck. Hmm? Here we have the graph of the original function, and notice as x approaches infinity, 
or as x increases without bound, or as we move to the right, we can see we are approaching the y value or function value of zero. The graph verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.